All right, greetings from Jackson. This is uh, Kali Akuno uh, with Cooperation Jackson uh, saying greetings to everyone. Um, uh, thank you for your patience as we've been sorting through some uh, technical difficulties trying to figure out how to actually participate and join you all uh, in the uh, Resist Gentrification Action Summit. Um, so first of all, I want to say I'm very proud uh, that this is happening. Uh, as a, a native son, uh, Khalifa Aslan, um, someone who was born and primarily raised in uh, Los Angeles, I know it's uh, going through a tremendous amount of uh, gentrification. Uh, the rents are sky high. I um, hear complaints from my family there uh, quite frequently and trying to get them to move here. Uh, back home to uh, uh, to the deep south down to, to Mississippi to help us in our work and struggle. But uh, again, very proud that this is taking place to see uh, the resistance that you all are mounting. Uh, it's a very critical uh, area, you know, as Los Angeles is uh, a global city and one of the key uh, links uh, in globalization uh, and the, the program of capital on reshaping the world. Uh, you know, so any and all uh, measures of success that take place there uh, that can build and sustain uh, communities, uh, keep our folks intact, keep them in place, um, I think is very critical. And you all uh, are to be applauded for making this effort. I'm just going to speak a little briefly about our work here in Cooperation Jackson uh, in this effort to stop uh, gentrification and displacement. Uh, in our case, uh, you know, we, we our program is linked uh, very strategically to a, a political component uh, on two levels. Number one, uh, there's a constant struggle to build democracy on the, on the ground floor uh, through people's assemblies. Uh, folks may have heard about the work that's been going on in Jackson and that arena uh, over the past 10 years. Uh, and uh, that is an effort uh, to build the people's capacity to govern themselves and to determine their own destiny. Uh, and that's an ongoing struggle it involves a tremendous amount of outreach, uh, education, uh, and struggle to uh, learn from each other first and foremost, uh, but to also uh, raise our consciousness collectively by sharing, exchanging, and debating different ideas, uh, different policies, different strategies, different tactics on how to move forward, uh, how do we build autonomously in the community ourselves, uh, and how do we uh, challenge government, uh, hold it accountable, uh, control its repressive arms and apparatus. Um, these are some of the critical things uh, that have been building and uh, we've been struggling to create here uh, in Jackson, and people should know it's an up and down process. You know, it's not uh, ever even. Uh, the, the critical thing is to stay consistent with it and consistent in engaging the people to the best that you can. Uh, that would be a lesson that I would say uh, to, to draw away from our efforts here uh, in Jackson. Uh, the other component of that uh, is building independent political power. Now, some of that may, in, in, in people's view, uh, come through creating a new uh, political party that's my own. Uh, take on on the issue, uh, and some of that just may be building uh, serious political alignments with different forces in your community. Now that's all for you to determine. But the critical thing is an understanding, I think, in building that new kind of political force, that new political uh, party, uh, is that the Republicans, the Democrats, uh, are not our friends; they're just the two uh, wings of uh, uh, capitalism in this country, uh, and you may have to, you know, engage in, with them. Uh, tactically at different times, um, but without an independent autonomous base to really move some things, I think you'll be uh, very limited in exercising a real program of uh, self-determination, which I think that critical piece uh, is all about, is how do you exercise that uh, given the confines of uh, settler colonialism, given the confines of capitalism and imperialism uh, that we are living through, uh, and all the other uh, uh, types of uh, uh, systems of oppression uh, and alienation that are a part of that. Uh, uh, patriarchy, uh, heterosexism, ableism, 
you know, these are all things that are deeply uh, intertwined uh, and, and shape the contours, as you all know, of what kind of keeps us in repressive boxes and keeps us isolated uh, from each other, uh, both politically and socially. And then the last component is a component that uh, Cooperation Jackson is particularly uh, designed and, and working to build. Now, folks should know, <clears throat> you know, the work around the People's Assembly. Uh, the work that some of the the other organizations uh, in the community have been putting in uh, on those first two components have been happening for uh, quite some time. Uh, the work specifically within the city to build cooperatives also has a prehistory before Cooperation Jackson. Um, but the effort to bring that all together uh, through this political strategy is relatively new. You know, we are only four years old, so we're still a baby. We've made some. Uh, you know, we made some modest progress, but my uh, estimation, because uh, I'm, I'm one person who believes that you shouldn't celebrate until you're really free, and we got a long way to go uh, till we get to that point. Um, but we made some modest uh, progress uh, in the, the effort to build the solidarity economy, you know, from the grassroots. Uh, I think critical thing to understand about our, our frame and reference there is that Capitalism at this late stage uh, is not producing uh, a means for people to sustain themselves, be that jobs uh, or be that through enabling people to have livelihoods, which don't require you to have two or three jobs uh, or to live at the margin of society. And, and we know that in our communities, you know, there is a ton of talent, there's a ton of potential and there's great need. And so how do we organize that? How do you put that all together? to meet people's basic daily needs, and then beyond that, ensure that they have a, a quality of life uh, that everyone uh, wants and deserves. And the quality of life cannot and should not necessarily be measured purely by material things. A lot of that has to be measured uh, in the relationships that are built and the qualities of those relationships and how we care for each other, how we sustain each other, uh, how do we take care of each other's needs. And that's the core component of what the solidarity economy is, is about. But in our case, you know, we're looking at it uh, realistically understanding that in a city like Jackson, which is 85% black, uh, which is um, extremely poor uh, in, in most respects in terms, at least materially poor, uh, capital poor, uh, you know, how do we transform that kind of opposing reality with folks who have a tremendous amount of skill but have little capital, have little resources. And so it's, a, it's an effort it's going to take some time to get people to a uh, trust in community and build community, and that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, and then pull, rely on our own resources and our own talents to build the future that we want, that we need. Now, the critical thing for us is understanding that, to the extent we've been able to have some political success in electing, you know, mayors and electing other uh, elected officials as a measure of success of this movement here in, in Jackson. There are also enemies that we have, and they have a program, and their program very explicitly calls for uh, the displacement of a large portion of the black working class community here in Jackson. There's no secret, it's open uh, uh, peace. And so we have to be forward thinking, how do we address this? How do we stop this? And so for us, uh, you know, we have been focusing on primarily anchoring ourselves and acquiring uh, as much property as we can through a number of different means. You know, so uh, uh, some of that I'll speak to that we've been trying to purchase as much of the vacant land as possible that the state and the city owns uh, in our community. Uh, so there's that process of pooling resources together, uh, calling and making appeals from, from different forces throughout the country and really throughout the world to help us out in the struggle. And we've uh, uh, had some success in doing that. But the, the critical thing that we're trying to do, just so folks know and understand, in our case, uh, there's what we call a fortification line. And there's fortification is a street that's one of the main arteries that kind of cuts through the very center of Jackson. And for us, uh, we are trying to stop the tracks of gentrification, which is already advancing at that line. And so we're trying to uh, work with the community uh, to acquire as much of the vacant lots and properties below uh, to the southern end, I should say, uh, of that fortification line and build a community land trust. You know, and the aim is to decommodify the land and take it off the speculative market 
And what we are aiming to do with it is create uh, an eco village, a live work eco village, uh, where we uh, redevelop it to make sure that there's an urban farming relationship that's tied very much to uh, an off the grid housing network. And so this is our vision, this is our plan. Uh, and we're tying that very closely uh, to trying to utilize and get ahead of uh, these new technologies, which make a lot of this production uh, much easier, cheaper than it was in the past. Uh, so that's where our community production center, which is really anchored around digital fabrication, but far more beyond that, uh, uh, truth be told. So an integrated system uh, is what we're trying to do to acquire and hold land, take it off the market, develop our people's skills, uh, develop the resources that they need through uh, creating a program of food sovereignty uh, gradually over time uh, to be able to take care of our basic needs. And once we can do that, we know we can fight back on our own terms. And uh, that's the critical thing uh, that I just want to share a little bit about our uh, experience in a short amount of time. I mean, there's a lot more uh, to share, uh, I think a lot more perspective uh, to gain you know, in LA, you all have the challenge of property values being so high because of how densely uh, occupied the city is and it's just it's strategic value within the system of capitalism that I, I spoke to earlier. So you all some, have some unique challenges of, of having to play um, in that particular arena uh, in terms of fighting gentrification, in terms of, you know, gaining land and using some of the strategies uh, that we've been able to employ to this point in time. Uh, here in Jackson, but uh, nothing is impossible. Uh, and I know all y'all working together, uh, using all your imagination, using all the tools and tactics that's available to you uh, and going beyond the logic of the system. Uh, like I said, there's many strategies and tactics and purchasing land is not always the most effective way. Um, you know, uh, we would be advocates that you have to occupy a lot and make the social case, the political case, around uh, uh, making all of uh, the resources of the planet, uh, which are, are belong to all of us, and I mean you know, all the species on the planet, not just humans, uh, make that case, make that political case, because it's, it's very critical to the times that we live in, uh, uh, particularly dealing with climate change and how real that is for everybody on the planet right now and how that has to be front and center in our opinion and our view to all of our work and all of our struggles and have to be integrated within it. So, you know, I want to encourage you all to make that political case and to fight the good fight uh, in Los Angeles. I believe firmly that through determination, will, proper training, proper organizing, preparation, uh, y'all can win. So looking forward to uh, connecting more uh, in the future uh, and exchanging with all of you. Uh, again, it's it's uh, very good to see this work developing and advancing in my hometown. Uh, and if there's uh, any way uh, in the future, uh, me and Cooperation Jackson can be of some help. Uh, don't hesitate to call uh, and ask. Uh, just give us the due time to be able to respond given the nature of the intensity of the work here. Uh, but we're with you all in solidarity, spirit and love uh, and maintain. <laughs>